Good afternoon, all you mule lovers out there in Facebook land. Paul Garrison here with Garrison Mulemanship and Training. I've had oh, half a dozen or so folks ask me about picket lines. I think I posted a picture today or, or yesterday of a, of a mule that was on a picket line and folks are observed close enough to, to, uh, to have noticed that. But uh, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, picket lines, how, how they work, what they are, uh, how to put a mule on them, how to make sure the mule is, is good with them. Uh, a picket line is just what it says. It is a picket pin driven in the ground with a length of rope attached to the pin and a one foot hobble on the other end. I've got one here that we can we can look at. This is your picket pin. This one is a one inch machined aluminum pin, 24 inches long. One inch diameter, 24 inches long. It's got a swivel on this end so the animal can, can go around and round. I like to attach my rope to the swivel with a bull snap and a swivel. I bind my rope together, believe it or not, with, this is a 5 8 rope, I use a half inch garden hose clamp. You know, when, when you're packing and so forth, you're, you're uh, pretty concerned about weight, and uh, every, every ounce or so matters. This is the other end of the, of the picket line. Again, the rope's bound with a hose clamp. I have a swivel uh, here, a quick link, and a single foot hobble. That's basically what your what your picket line is made of. Now I I found that about 25 feet of rope uh, makes a makes a pretty good picket line. If if, if the grass cover is is very good at all. Uh, that gives them that gives them quite a bit of quite a bit of room to get to get filled up to get what they what they need overnight. So and that's basically what you it, it, this is a way to contain your animals and let them fill up, get their belly full of grass or whatever uh, overnight or during a break a break during the day or whatever. So. We'll take this little mule out and put her on the on the picket line. I've got one already driven in uh, out here in, a, in an open area. And what you want when you when you introduce this to to an animal that hasn't been picketed, which which she hasn't, uh, she's had some rope rope work done on her feet, but she has not been picketed. But you want a clean area. You want to, particularly the first time you want to put them in an area where if they get tangled up, fall, trip, whatever, they don't end up hurting themselves, cutting themselves, impaling themselves on something. You want, a, you want a nice, clean area. So we'll take this little mule out and we'll show you how to introduce them to the picket line. Get in a rush, be nice and easy and deliberate. Put this, put this one foot picket hobble on her. I'm gonna cinch it up tight enough that uh, she's not gonna, easy, she's not gonna be able to slip it off her foot. She doesn't know she's picking it. She knows there's something on her foot and she, she'll probably react a little bit when we walk off. But we're going to move off until she reaches the end of the picket line. Foot 
is restrained. Better check it out. Might lead her around on this circle a little bit. Might lead her across to the other side. Young mills in this one's case, they're pretty doggone smart. They figure out really quick what what's going on, what they need to do to to live with the situation they're in. Now, it's uh, something I didn't point out a while ago about the picket hobble. You want to use a smooth braid, large diameter rope. Uh, this rope is five eighths. Show the rope, baby. This rope is five eighths of an inch and smooth braid. This is what I mean by smooth braid. It's multiple strands braided together. It's not a three strand like a cotton rope is most of the time. That's that's a coarse braid. This is a smooth braid. They want the, the mule's going to get the rope behind their pastern sooner or later. They, they learn to deal with it. They may burn themselves. It, it's not a big deal. We don't want it to happen, but you, it, we, we, we take precautions. Most of the time when I, when I first put one on, I'll have a garden hose over the rope. I'll, I'll string it through a garden hose so that it keeps them from burning their pastern. But, even with that, there's going to be a situation, if you pick at them very much, where they're going to get that rope behind their pastern. They will burn themselves a time, possibly two, but they learn really quick how to manage that rope behind the, on the, around the pastern. So that's, that's uh, probably your biggest, your biggest concern, and it, it's really not a big one. But uh, that's basically... Um, what about the the picket line? It's that's uh, the old mules are old mules are smart. They figure it out. It's uh, it and it you know it, this thing it, it doesn't weigh weighs about three pounds maybe and uh, gives you a portable way to contain your animal overnight and allow them to get something to eat in the process. Hope this is uh, helpful, informative. If you have any questions, please, please get with me. Adios.